Well, actually, no, I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Oh, dang it. I'm just thinking, is this gonna be the time? to another episode of Minecraft Endoxus. Um, where is this? There we go. I need flint and steel for this episode. And you guys will get to see why. I kind of decided what I wanted to do with this downstairs area. So, oh, and by the way, I finished the enchanting table. Sign says, thanks, DJ, because he provided a lot of the leather that I needed for my books. Actually, all of the leather that I needed for my books. And I did not know this, but you only need this many bookshelves. There are two in the corner right there, so it's four extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Epic silence. Okay. But yeah, see, that, that gets you to level 30. So I've been thinking about enchanting a diamond sword, but today, today... Fake laugh there. Oh my gosh. Alright, I am absolutely crazy. Now, what we're going to do in this episode, I don't know if you saw. By the way, I just wanted to show you guys, I put together a block of emerald um, because I am a beast. Just, just throwing that out there right now. Um, yeah, this is going to need to come down. Alright, I usually build the portals with uh, 14 obsidian, just just because I like doing the corners, because I feel like I'm a rebel or something. But I wanted to put something special in the corners. I wish so much that I had another block of emerald. That would be so awesome, don't you guys think? Don't you guys think that would be awesome? It would be awesome. Um, okay, I'm actually going to get rid of this cooked chicken by eating it. What if you just said that when you were sitting down to eat something? Oh, works perfectly. I am going to get rid of this hamburger by eating it. Crap, man. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, oh, I started at this time. Okay. Sweet, got it. Um, I'm not liking that look. We'll have to change that. <laughs> um, by the way, guys, um... What are we doing? F3. That's what we're doing. Um, we're in 12W26A. Change the version. Minecraft and Doxus, the server was down for quite a while. Um, and so, you know what? I'm just going to do this right now. because this this is something I did in my previous world. I don't know if you guys have watched this. Um, but I, I like to put chests outside of the nether um, where you can just kind of quickly drop your valuables just in case you, uh, you die within the nether. Um, let's drop this, this. We'll keep the melon. I don't know, we can keep all the melon, because if we lose it all, it doesn't really matter. Um, coal, compass we can make again. Sugar canes, <laughs> plural. The bow is in here, so water buckets we don't need. Shears we obviously don't need. We need flint and steel. We always need flint and steel. Everyone always needs flint and steel when they're going to the nether, no matter what. <laughs> so, um... This episode, we are going to kind of scout out the nether a little bit. We need to go deeper. Just got the en enchantment. Um, DJ must have built this. I like this idea, DJ. Nice thinking. Nice going. Um, and of course, there is no glowstone around. <laughs> he lit it up with torches. Dude, DJ's a beast. All right. So, I got, so like, uh, uh. <laughs> um, like I said, I wanted to, I just want to scout out the nether, um, 
But I also need a ton of netherrack, so what I'm gonna do... Oh man, I left my wood. Uh, which means I can't make a workbench. Which means I can't make a new iron pick. So, gotta go back. <laughs> um, this is actually being recorded the same day you should be seeing Super Meat Boy 2-1X, I think. I think it's 2-1X. I'm pretty sure. And we are now in DJ's house. This is gonna be a problem. Crap, man. Oh, crap, and we're without a pick. Oh, man. Um, can I just break the stone? Sorry, DJ. Oh, man. We don't have a pick. And we don't have... Oh, man, are you serious? I wonder if we can just go over here. I might have to just... Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be a problem. <sighs> Maybe what I should do is I, I might talk to DJ. DJ, if you're watching this, what? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, I get it. I didn't see that room right there at first, so... And would you look at that floating blank, blank, floating blank? <laughs> Had to go all the way out here for stone brick. I'm, I think I'm gonna talk to DJ about making kind of like a town nether portal, like kind of like how they did on Minecraft. Um, because that way it, we don't have to worry about this problem <laughs> because now there are two nether portals. So yeah, but um. So yeah, this is being recorded on June, yeah, June 28th. Oh, I don't like that. I still need to replace those two with pistons, sticky pistons. Because that will be beast. Need witch bench? I'm sorry, Good. Good will probably never watch this anyway. I'll take a stack of wood. Just so, just so we're sure we're, we're good. Oh, I just realized I didn't replace that cobble. I'm sorry, um, DJ. I didn't replace your cobble. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, place the crafting table. And... Sticks. That's right. Okay, also, guys, I would like to say... The Guild Wars 2 stress test was amazing! And they announced a release date today. Um, yeah, that's another thing, too, is, um, I'm gonna follow DJ's torches. Maybe he left a trail of torches to the, to a fortress. Um, but yeah, the, the Guild Wars 2 stress test was amazing. It was the first time that I actually got to, um, use the gem store, because previously I was playing the game in Windows 8, Develop? Oh no, not develop. Um, I was playing the game originally in consumer. Yeah, consumer preview. I keep forgetting the names. Um, and then at and then after that, I was playing in release preview. Ah, here's the torch. Um, um, does this torch trail just end? Let's check to see if we're on far render distance. Yeah, we are. Huh. There's some glowstone. Good thing we don't have Nebris. Nebris. I don't know how to pronounce his name because Goo pronounces it one way and then B double O pronounces it the same way as Goo and then a whole bunch of other people pronounce it Nebris. So I don't know. Do I, have, I don't have bone meal on me. I'll save those. To, I'll save those mushrooms. Oh, jeez, man, we gotta eat. Um. Okay. But yeah, I, I used the gem store for the first time. Um. If you guys are familiar with the beta, uh, the beta testers get two thousand gems for free. And guys, I'm pretty sure they're gonna wipe the characters before they release the game. But um. But I and I didn't actually check on the price, uh, like the price in real money for gems. I only checked in like the price of in-game currency for gems, which is, um, which 
varies because it's kind of like a stock market almost. I think I'm just going to wear out an iron pick with Netherrack. Just completely wear it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I spent almost all of my gems that I got for free on the beta, on the stress test, um, on die packs. And here's why, like die packs for the armor. And here's why. Because, as I understand it, there are like hundreds of different colors of die in that game. And each die pack is 200 gems. And I had 2,000. <laughs> and in a die pack, you get seven dies total. You get um, five that are common, like guaranteed to be common dies. And then you get two that are either uncommon or rare. And I'm not going to replace that. Why would I replace that? It's stupid. Um, two that are either, either uncommon or rare. And I got quite a few uncommon ones, but I... I did end up getting three rare dies. Two of them I didn't really like very much. But um, I got three rare dies. And those were... Um, Lemonade was the first one. I didn't really like that that much. But I did put a touch of it on my um, armor. On my shoulder armor, if you, if you guys want to look. I actually did... I had a really fun time, like, customizing the appearance of my armor, um, as far as dyes go, and I'll actually post a picture, I'll, I'll try to post a picture up on this, I may forget, I'll see if I can do my editing right after I do this video, so that you guys will be able to see it, but, um, yeah, after I got Lemonade, I then got another rare die called Mithril, and that was the rare die that I actually liked because it was like pure white. It was really awesome. Um, because like in the starter die pack, you have a die called ebony, and as you know, ebony means black. But the color is not black. It's like dark gray. Um, ooh, what's this? Okay, be careful. Don't charge. Huh. I, I don't really like the appearance of the nether. I think it's made to look like that, though. I think it's made to look ugly, because it's, like, heck. I mean, look, when you press F3, look at the biome. Look, wait, right here, over here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I think you can. But look at the biome. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and then the, then the third die that I absolutely didn't use, and there wasn't really a specific reason for it, it was just because we kind of ran out of time on the beta weekend, or the uh, stress test. Um, but the reason, or, yeah, that was the reason. <laughs> um, but the, the third die was chocolate, and obviously, like, you, you know what that color was, it was just brown. Um, but it was it was a chocolate colored brown, and there, because there are hundreds of colors in the game, there are going to be some that look very similar. Um, so, you know how that goes. But uh, also, they added some dyes to the starter pack. Again, I'm not really sure if you guys are going to be familiar with this, but uh, but they added some dyes to the starter pack. And those dies, um, I don't know all of them, but I do know they added a really awesome one called Deep Maple. Oh, Deep Maple is awesome. Like, seriously, that was, that was an awesome color. Um, but two uncommon dies that I, I liked, I know, I'm spending a lot of time talking about dies, but, but just the Guild Wars 2 Beta Weekend event was amazing. Um, <laughs> not Beta, gosh dang it, stress test. Um, but the uh, two uncommon dies that I that I really liked that and I think went really well together. Um, were cinnamon and celery. Those were pretty nice colors. I think they went pretty well together. Um, what we're gonna yeah we're gonna. Grab these sticky pistons right here. I actually can leave one behind. So we're, it's kind of like a. It's going to be kind of like a general purpose episode. I need redstone. 
Well, I might need redstone. I'll just grab it for good measure. Got the repeater from the jungle temple. Jungle pyramid. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I need to add crafting tables somewhere other than my storage area because it's getting a little bit tedious having to go back and forth and stuff. Um, okay. Also, oh wait, no, no, I'm just going to say this. Um, cinnamon and celery, those those colors, I don't know why they went really well together, but they did. C cinnamon is kind of like a dark red, and then celery is like um, kind of a, a dull light green, I think. So yeah, that, that's there for all to enjoy. And then, um, oh yeah, yeah, they added some more dyes, like uh, one of them was spring moss. And that was that was a great color. Spring moss was good. Then they added uh, cucumber. Those these aren't on the starter dye pack. These are um, I think they were on. No, actually I think these might have been common dyes. But uh, okay, so this needs an extra redstone current flowing towards it, and I think. Okay, we might have a little bit of trouble with this, unless, okay, if we place some dirt right here, I'm living life on the edge by doing redstone wiring at night, look how baller I am, okay, redstone, get redstone on the bar, we don't need flint steel, Let's set the dang house on fire, okay, if we add, dang it, I, Wow. Um, so if we have redstone... Uh, here, I made this for easy access. I think it's here. Yep. If we have redstone... Let me check the wiring. Down. Wait a second. They're supposed to all be extended by default. I gotta take another look at this. Wait a second. Does that do it? Oh, because this block is not here. Okay, so when this block is here... Wait. I don't get it, guys. I just don't get it. Well, fixed it. <laughs> um... Okay, break the redstone... Oh, that's what the problem was. That, that stone brick blocking the current. Was that it? Because if you put... I don't know if we can do it that design, guys. I don't know if we can do it that. Because the, normally the stone brick goes right there, but that blocks the redstone current. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's just... Okay, let's... What? I have no idea what is going on. This is... Okay, so... Oh, this is not powered. Okay. Got it. Got it. So we need... Yeah, okay. We need to get redstone flowing here somehow. Which... Okay, it's a block of air. I don't care about, <laughs> about doing redstone on camera. I'll do it anyway, sucker. Okay, this we need, because that has the redstone torches. We need that. And, remember, they're extended by default. So if we have redstone wire going like this. Crap, no, no, that was a flip-flop. Okay, I have an idea. If I do this... Redstone episode! <laughs> okay. Do this, and I hook it up right... Or not not there. Not there. Crap. Oh, and now I know I have to, what I have to do. To make it like this. That way it's automatically flowing like that. And then... You add a redstone torch right here. Then that's powered off. Well, crap, man. What if we... huh. 
dang it, man. <laughs> um. Okay, I have an idea. So if I have right here, if I have a block and I have need redstone torches, I'll just make four. Just I'm not gonna need four, but I'll make four just just because. Okay, and then I have this, and then I have the repeater that I have. See, this is coming in handy. Crap. There, and then that's there, and then that's inverted, which means if you have a block right here, it should... Is it powering this block at all? Yeah, all three pistons are extended. Let's see if, let's see if that works out. Awesome, dude! I figured that out on my own! My freaking own! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, okay. I need to go back to my nether chest. I really wanted to make... Maybe this can be like a brewing room. Because it can't really be an enchanting room. Need wood. Uh, have iron sword. Uh, I don't want to eat the melon just yet. Let's get bread. Um. But yeah, I'm happy of myself. Because <laughs> I... I figured this redstone contraption out. Okay, so I need some smooth stone. I don't know if I have any. I'll check. Oh, not that chest. It's here. Yeah, oh. Oof. What is it? It's, uh... Oh my gosh. What's the, re what's the recipe for a redstone repeater, guys? Is it... I think it's... Three stone? Is it three stone? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there, there are two torches involved. Well, there has to be two torches involved. Um, let me check this really quick on um, on Minecraft Helper. Uh, okay, okay, I see what it is. Three, three stone, and then there's a redstone in the middle. So, and I always forget this recipe. Okay, so I need. Let's make some more. Oh. Gosh. Need to get it together. Not that. This. Got it. Oh. I guess I didn't really get the redstone on the bar, did I? Okay. Got it. Now we have to fix this wiring. We have to make redstone go up here. That extends both of those. Then, uh, we have to, let's go back down in our little place, okay, this redstone torch, it goes back one right here, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mine this out real quick, place torch, Um, oh yeah, by the way guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I'm not, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk about this at all, I just have to mention this, but I finally started, or stopped having dreams about that girl after the tenth night. This needs to go right now. Oh crap. Oh no, that's the inverter, okay. I love having a good understanding of what redstone is. Okay, then we need the inverter, another inverter right here. Um, and then we have a block of rest. I could just figure this out again, but nope. Sorry, guys. I have to I just go for symmetry. Got it. Beastin'. Dude, that's so beast. Got it. Okay, so it works. Now I'm actually going to just chop down a tree over here just because I don't feel like going to my chest. Because I feel like... I feel like I should be gaining more resources than I'm using. I mean, isn't that only logical? Just... Just basic logic over here. <coughs> By the way, that Facebook friend that I, I told you all uh, watches my Indoxus videos. She's like, recognition, sweet! <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So yeah, you're very welcome for that. Okay. Now we can encase this, and I've got to figure out something to do with... I really want to do something with... Well, I don't really know how this works. Crap. Well, I guess I can just... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Just in case this, in case this, and, and we are good to go. We got that, but on the outside, it's like an arch. That's so awesome. I, lo I love that arch right there. Like, seriously, that's, that is legit. Alright, let's, let's just do, oh, oh, crap. Are you serious? Not cool, man. Right before we end the episode here. just want to try this. Oh, crap! Oh. Did I say this was going to be a general purpose episode? I think I did. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Okay. That's something. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what I want to do. Okay, really quick. Let me just... And also, wait, I need two, four, six, eight. Um, general... No, I always go for the wrong chest. And I need stone bricks. I saw Vintage Beef do that uh, the other day. Just leave one in there. I thought it was really cool. Um, okay, now... Pressure plates... Because we need to make them stone, so you can't just drop um, an item on it and have it work. You have to actually step on it. Okay, here's what I think I want to do. Um, make it come one more out over here. Yeah, I really like that. I don't think this will work, but let's try it. Does that work? Yeah, actually, that works. Okay, and then what I'll do, I'll do this off camera. Ooh, I gotta fix this. And I can't place one right there. I guess I'll just have to do it. Or no, I can I can fix it with a stair. Okay, I'm gonna be placing stairs in here anyway. I'll fix this up with stairs off camera. Um, but until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked my video, feel free to subscribe. Um, leave a like, of course, if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. What's up, guys? Again, um, I just wanted to add in this part of the episode um, of me enchanting a diamond sword. So let's craft this diamond sword. And we're level 31. Let's do it. What are we going to get? Oh! Oh, wait a second. Oh, I heard from, t I was watching Etho today that looting and fire aspect kind of conflict with each other. But that is an awesome sword. Smite 4 is really cool. So uh, we will have to be using that after our iron swords wear out. But yeah, I just wanted to add that part. So again, thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.